This is the KFA KitchenAid super automatic coffee machine and I bet you by the time I'm done with this video you're going to fall in love with it. Now why do I say that? This KF8 is the top of the line model in the super automatic line above KitchenAid. It's a new model and here's what happened. KitchenAid went out, found all the features people would want in their espresso machines and things people didn't know they want in their espresso machines. Shoved them all in the KF8 and this is what they came up with and it's a beautiful machine. It has features and uh, options that you will not get in this price range from anybody. Now, speaking of things you didn't know you want, this is a very unique feature. Imagine not having the ability to have a removable bean hopper. Uh, you have beans in there, you probably don't like the beans, they're decaf, it doesn't taste nice, whatever you're either gonna just make enough drinks for the the beans to run out because well you don't want to waste them or forget it you just use your hand to or get a vacuum cleaner and clean out the interior of the bean hopper this machine however is very smart it allows you to very easily just unlock remove the bean hopper now here's a world of possibilities one is if you didn't want this very easy to dispose of two we sell the bean hoppers separately and they come with lids and so that then opens up a whole horizon of you having multiple if you want hoppers with different types of beans in there and so different bean for every day of the week I guess so whatever your heart desires now they didn't take away the option for you to use um, make sure you lock the bean hopper back you still have the option to use ground coffee for your decafs or flavored yeah, um, hazelnut ground coffee shoot is right there as well the scoop is provided it goes in there and this and by the way is for you to it helps you put the filter in since we're talking about this thing it comes with the machine already so that's as far as the brew units because as far as the beans you're going to use obviously roasted beans Dark roast is fine. Any bean that's not too oily or flavored. So if you're considering getting an espresso machine, you uh, and, and it's a machine you're getting, you have the option with a with a semi-automatic where you have to grind the bean and temp the portafilter and then extract the shot and then uh, you have to learn how to froth or steam the milk. There's a lot of involvement from you and a learning curve. Unlike that, a super automatic, uh, that's why you're considering it is because it's very easy to use. It's a touch of a button. So if you can turn on a TV, work a microwave or a vacuum, this is a breeze. Um, we always have measurements in our product pages, but since I have a measuring tape, um, you need about 18 inches of depth, which is pretty standard, about 10 inches, I would assume here, just under 10 inches width. More importantly, people would wonder if this is going to fit under the countertop. And as long as you have a standard home with a standard countertop balances, yes, they will fit. Um, just like this, the machine is just under 14 and a half inches tall. <clears throat> What's important though is when you open the lid and you want to take out the water container, I'm only going to go up about a half an inch before I'm able to just go on the side. This is versus some machines that have the water container in the back. That can be a pain. But this is really easy to remove the water tank and um, um, fill it up if that's what you want to do. Otherwise, you bring water to it. Now with the lid open, we're going to need just under 19 inches of clearance, which again is more than enough for, for any standard home. Since we're talking about size and dimensions, it is worth mentioning that the KF8 gets a really large water tank and drip tray. And this becomes an issue when you don't have a large water tank and drip tray. And the reason I say that is because if you know, you know. If you've ever used a machine that's got a small tank, small tray every three four drinks the machine is like oh fill up the water tank oh 
empty the drip tray every four drinks. So maybe multiple times a day you need to do that. So it becomes such a nuisance having the luxury of large water tank, large drip tray. This thing can go maybe 10, 12 drinks before it asks to be filled up again. But being the top of the line model, you get a five inch touch screen. Some of the menu stuff is inside the touch screen and there's four buttons on the outside. The two buttons that you're most likely going to use on the outside are the uh, drink menu button and the play button, which starts making the drink. You also have a profile user button right here uh, and the exit button there. Now within uh, the screen, you have navigation buttons down here. Those are the two arrows that allow you to go between different screens and choose different things. You have a settings menu up on the corner, which allows you to go through the different settings of the machine, pretty straightforward. And your maintenance button is this one here, which includes all the different maintenance features, including descaling the machine. You can prompt the machine to clean the milk pipe work or uh, brew units, uh, cleaning, and all that good stuff is in uh, that menu. Of course, when you uh, hold a drink or when you choose a drink, a whole menu option pops up and that menu is there for you to customize. Uh, we'll talk about that when it comes to customization. Now the frothing system in this machine allows workmen capable of producing froth milk as well as steamed or hot milk, which means no limit on the type of drinks you can get out of it. You can get any drink with any combination of milk. However, usually dairy milk, two to three percent cold works best. Now the KF8 does come with its own milk container. When you're done, put it back in the fridge. What is very important is when you're done with it, put the milk pipe back into this tray and then this allows the machine to, uh, because the machine will rinse itself and it will purge uh, the milk from uh, that pipe. So you don't want it to go back into the, to the milk container. So make sure you put it in the tray, the machine cleans itself, all the milk is cleared into the drip tray. That's that. Um, again, because it's the KF8, you could use plant-based, but get the barista version. Now, of course, you're going to get customization settings because it's you. You're the important part of the story. You are going to decide how you like your drinks. But just to give you an idea of what type of customizations, let's choose a cafe latte, which seems to be a popular model. Now, we love, by the way, the software and the touch screen on this thing. It's very responsive. It's not oversensitive. At the same time, it's just very intuitive. It's common sense. The first thing, it shows you the drink you're getting and you can choose uh, the strength. You click on the beans or the buttons and then you can go, how strong do you want the coffee to be? That means how much coffee it's actually going to grind and pour in your drink. So, you know, where you like it, you. You press the check mark. Now it says temperature. You can go from low, medium, or high. Pretty straightforward. Um, body, if you want it to be a light body drink, medium body, or a strong body, you could have the option of doing coffee first or milk first. I have to say this is a new one. Usually if it's a preset menu, the machine doesn't allow you to choose which is which, but this one does, which is great. Important thing about the KF8, which you don't find in the KF7 and the KF6, is it asks you if you're using a plant-based or a dairy milk. Now you are able to use plant-based, so this frothing system is more than happy to do that for you. Tip, use a barista version of soy milk, almond milk, or whatever plant-based milk you're using. And here is where you get how much coffee you want us to grind for you. For this drink and how much milk you want based on your portion size. This all is the customization of the drink. There's two more things. One is that cup there which allows you to do two. Now this is a really nice to have feature because these machines get a central spout you are able to do two drinks as long as they're the same drink at once and where it's important is where you don't have to decide if you're making two drinks for two people, yourself and somebody else or whatever, you don't have to decide who goes first. Relationships have been won over this, but anyways, um, so you could choose one or two drinks there and 
all the settings that you just customized, you can save to your own name. And that way, you don't have to do this all over again every single time. All right, isn't that smart? Um, so that's all the customizations you can get. It's wonderful. The literature says 40 plus strings. Now, I think the way this question should be asked is how many pre-selected drinks are on the menu? Because it does come with a drink recipe where there's espresso martinis and, and, and um, affogados and espresso tonics and a whole bunch of recipes that's not here. So it's really your scales and imagination that determines how many drinks this thing will make. But as long as, when as far as the pre-selected menu is concerned, it covers everything you would possibly need. It goes into screens and each screen has four options. Cafe latte, espresso, cappuccino, americano. That's pretty smart. It's like they knew these are the most popular drinks. Macchiato, latte macchiato, espresso longo, which is, seems to be a longer, taller espresso. Cortado, which is a favorite. Coffee, ristretto. Cafe au lait, flat white, which is another favorite. Froth milk, warm milk, hot water, green tea. So the temperature of the hot water is suitable for green tea. So that is 16 drinks that is in the pre-selected menu. Remember, you could do two of each drink as well. We're going to make latte macchiatos, but I want to make some adjustment. This is just to show you what the motion is when you go through um, making a drink. Now, temperature is already set at high, strength is set at maximum, which is fantastic. Body is already set as strong, which is great. Milk first, but well, let the machine decide. It, milk type is dairy milk, which is good. It's going to give me two ounces of coffee and 3.3. So I want this to be 2.6 ounces of espresso. And let's call it 4.2 ounces of milk. And I would like for it to make two drinks at the same time. So I'm just going to press on that. The machine is ready to make the drink. It knows everything it needs to. And it's prompting that play button. There we go. Oh, one thing you will be surprised at is how muffled, how silent, how quiet this machine is. So, and you get a progress bar, by the way. So your expectations are in check. You don't have to wonder when it's finished. It'll show you right here. And it tells you exactly what it's doing. Right now it's heating. Preparing milk, it says. Yes, we can see that, thank you very much. Very silky smooth. Um, oh, it's nice. By the way, if you ever wanted to get more love from people, your guests, friends, family, they will love you for your coffee machine. This, I know. It says preparing first shot. So again, we expect two shots and that's two full shots, two grinds, not just watery coffee through the, the hopper. We want two grinds. Uh, separately. I like how they have this light here too. Huh? Did I mention the water tank has um, a level here that it, you can always see just looking at the machine how full the water tank is. Believe it or not this is not a standard feature and a lot of coffee machines kind of surprise you halfway through making a drink because you forgot to check how much water there was in the tank and they just stop. Um, so this is a nice, this is a thoughtful design. Preparing the second shot and we should be good. It looks great already. It smells wonderful. I 
By the way, I like the white and I think everyone in our office has so far commented the white is just the, the nicest color so far. All right, we haven't seen the green yet, I have to say. It's called the Jupiter, I, I believe, but white is hands down the most popular so far. I'm running out of things to say, so I'm happy. The, huh, and it gives you a ring. Now it says save the drink to your favorites. Uh, and it, it, you can ask, oh, you can, oh, I screwed up. There we go. You can add it to a profile if you want it the way done that way. So it's wonderful. It's, here we go. Look at this. It is, it is beautiful and it tastes probably amazing. I haven't tasted it yet. Yes, that's one of the huge advantages of a super automatic machine, especially the KitchenAid, because it basically cleans itself. As far as the daily stuff is concerned, you have the milk pipe, which is this. Once you're done with it, you put it back in here. Before the machine goes off, it'll rinse itself automatically or actually gives you a notification after you're done with your drink if you want to rinse now or rinse later. This is done on daily basis. The machine purges the milk out into the drip tray, whatever is inside. So easy peasy. There's really no involvement from you except for putting this back in where it is. The other two types of cleaning, one would include descaling. Now here's a beautiful thing about KitchenAid. What they've done is they've introduced filters in their machines. Now this comes, you get a filter out of the box and these are readily available. You can purchase them if you want. But this does a few things, two things at least. One is obviously it doesn't allow if your water is hard, it doesn't let minerals get into the system um, and clog up the system. Um, so this actually using a filter removes the need for you to descale, uh, which is really nice. But also, the second thing it does, your drink will taste nice because it's filtered water that's being used. So that's a really nice to have. The last thing you would have to do on this machine every about 200 drinks, the machine will prompt you, by the way, anything to do with anything as far as cleaning is concerned, the machine will show you with graphics with images. So it's a, an absolute no-brainer. You will not have a problem with it. But the last thing you're gonna do every 200 drinks is to clean the brew unit. The machine does come with two cleaning tablets. It does get a removable brew unit. So you can take this under a sink and clean it. Uh, even if the machine is not prompting you, you could just do this every week. Your coffee will taste better if you do this every week. Uh, just take it under the sink and wash it and clean it. When it's time for the, the cleaning of it, the tablets uh, go in here. So you put a tablet in. Again, the machine will tell you all of this. And that's all she wrote. There is nothing else you need to do. The machine will then continue cleaning the brew unit for you. You will just have to place a container here because some of the wastewater will come out into the drip tray and some come out of the spouts. It is super easy to maintain. Yes, a two-year manufacturer warranty uh, covers labor and parts. Now, we are a warranty and a service center and a sales center for everything we sell. So, we're more than happy to be your first point of contact if necessary, if anything goes wrong. We're here and happy to help or just to answer any questions. As a matter of fact, there is a chat feature on our website, coffeewarehouse.ca, and you're welcome to reach us there anytime you'd like. Now, we ship these free of charge to all Canadian provinces. We give you a 90-day price match guarantee to make sure you sleep easy at night. At the same time, we offer financing with all of these KitchenAid models. And again, if, I have any, if you have any questions, if I missed anything, feel free to reach out. But believe you me, if you haven't fallen in love with this machine yet, I don't know what else I could do for you.